Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to colour your hair a different colour. You can have from bright pink to bright red or any other colour imaginable. And to start doing this you want to open your image into in Photoshop and to do that you want to go to file and open and select your image. Then once you've selected your image you want to go and copy your picture. By doing so you want to drag your picture and press on new layer and it will copy the image. Then from there you want to press Q on your keyboard and press your paint uh, tool. Then go over the hair which this will form a mask. Now you want to be you don't want to go over it too much. Like so. Then press Q again and it'll select the hair. Then you want to go to select inverse and then you want to make a new blank layer, not a copy of the image, just a blank layer. And you can do that by just clicking on new layer. And then from there you want to select your colour, I'll just go to bright red and then press the paint tool and then go over, don't worry it won't go outside the uh, lines because you selected it like so and then you want to go to linear burn now you can choose any other effects you want, just go through them and see what one you like but I think that looks ok then you want to press Control and D now it's looking a bit messy at the moment but what you want to do is you want to zoom in and then you want to select your eraser tool and then just go over it very carefully taking out the bits you don't want like so and you can get a pretty good outline of it obviously I'm not going to do this right now it's because I am going to show you a different way so that is what it would look like well, uh, but then you want to take all the edges off and all that and you want to put down your brush uh, your eraser tool to get into the fine crevices and that and it'll look pretty good now the other way of doing it is uh, you open your image again and this is an easier way and a lot faster way of doing it and you open a new layer and just a blank layer on top Yeah, you want to select your colour which is going to be white it has to be white first of all and then select your paintbrush tool and then go over the hair don't worry about being too uh, cautious over the hair you want to get all of it in because otherwise it look very strange like so then you want to go to overlay and it'll look like that now all you've got to do from there is go to image adjustment hue and saturation and press colorize you want to bring the lightness down the saturation up and the hue is your difference now if you look at it it's going all different colors you can have bright pink Bright red, blues, purples, oranges, any colour you want. Select the colour you want and then do as you did in the other one. Uh, zoom in, select your eraser tool and then just go around the edge of the face and all the other bits like so. Now this is a lot simpler way and it's a lot more effective than the other way and this is the one I most use so you, so I'd suggest you use this way more and once you've done that you can get something like this after you've taken all the adjustments you know all the bits you don't want out and it'll look like that and you can go from any other different colour you want to now, now when you do this sort of thing you probably won't, if you've got quite dark hair, you probably won't get uh, it a different colour 
as if you've got black hair you probably won't get that much different color you want to go if you have light hair then you're gonna get uh, a more color and like you can go for blues and stuff like that so it really depends on your hair color but it's worth playing around with on a photo because it'll make it stand out and look stunning so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and stay tuned because there's loads more tutorials coming as I said in my last tutorial I'm going to do a Halloween one showing you how to convert yourself into a zombie and I'll show you all the different effects and where to get paint brushes and how to do blood effects and stuff like that and that's coming up for this Halloween so stay tuned please comment and subscribe if you want to um, yeah, and stay tuned see you bye